Hey, I'm Nathan Slammons. I'm Andy Slammons. And in this video, we're gonna show you six private label products that we've actually sold on Amazon and how they turned us into million dollar sellers. So this was my very first product that I private labeled on Amazon. You may be looking at it saying, what is it? Well, it is a silicone spatula set. Back in 2015, I looked at the data on Amazon and I saw that there were a number of silicone spatula sets that were selling really well. And so I thought, how could I make my spatula set different than the ones that were already selling on Amazon? And what I did is I made a lime green color silicone spatula set. At the time, no lime green silicone spatula sets existed on Amazon. There was red, there was black, there was yellow, but no green. And so I thought a color differentiation would be enough for me to get to that first page for those heavily searched for keywords. And you know what? It worked. These actually sold really well. The quality was really good. So for a first private label product, it was about a double. It wasn't a home run, it wasn't a triple, but it was about a double. But let me tell you some things that I did wrong. And if you've private labeled for any amount of time, you've probably made some of these mistakes as well. One of the things I did wrong was I didn't get bomb proof packaging. So when you private label products on Amazon, there's about eight to 10 touch points before your product reaches the customer. What I did on this first set is I had them put in this cheap plastic so they get shipped on the ocean, they get shipped into Amazon warehouse, then Amazon spreads them throughout the country. And then by the time they were reaching the customers, this cheap plastic packaging would be broken. So some of my first reviews came in that the customers were happy with the set, but they weren't happy with the packaging. So that was one of the first lessons that I learned on Amazon. Overall, I was pretty proud on how I did it and how I launched it and that it was done well. However, I wouldn't launch something this easy in 2020 because what I did back in 2015 definitely does not work in 2020. But these were my first baby, my green silicone spatula sets. The first product that I sold on Amazon was a bath pill that looked just like that. There were some things I did right and a lot of things that I did wrong with this first product. Some of the things I did right was I got great packaging, I had a great name picked out, I got my domain name secured, and I did everything as kind of my first time doing private label as good as I can uh, without going through any kind of course or training on it. Now some of the things I did wrong was logistically I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't know how to import my product uh, properly. I had no clue how to do a boat shipment back then. Uh, and this was in 2015. Uh, and I didn't do good enough quality control checks. So one of the things that would go wrong with this bath pillow is that after people used it, it would fill up with water. And if they didn't actually dry it out properly, it would even get moldy. So this product wasn't a double like Andy's spatulas. I don't even know if it was a single. It was probably a dud. And I was honestly pretty discouraged for this being my first product. But one of the major things that I did right was I didn't give up and I actually ordered my second product that we'll talk about coming up before I even first received that first bath pillow product. So my first private label product were the green silicone spatula sets. My second one was a Moscow Mule mug that I imported from India. So around 2012, 2013, the Moscow Mule went bananas all across America and it actually took over the margarita as the number one drink. And so Amazon sellers got in on the trend I saw the data on Amazon, I began to import those, and they became a really good product for me. Again, it wasn't a home run product, but it was about a double, and I learned a lot about sourcing in India. I tell everyone, some of the factories that I source from, they actually looked like it was basically in somebody's basement of their house, and they were banging out these Moscow Mule mugs but they did awesome with their craftsmanship and it was a great product that sold really well. So my first product were those bath pillows that didn't do well. But like I said, thankfully I had already placed an order for my second product before I even knew that my first product wasn't working out. And we're gonna talk about in a minute why that's so important. My second product, a completely different story. For the bath pillow, I didn't really put a lot of good research into it. Again, it was before I really knew what I was doing, I hadn't gone through any training, and I didn't even ask Andy whether or not it was a good idea back in 2015. 
My second product, I looked at the data on Amazon and I knew that this was a hot seller. And so my second product were space saver bags. So these are bags that people use uh, when they're traveling or if they wanna store stuff at home or in college dorms. And you actually use a vacuum to suck the air out of the bag. Genius, right? And I was really excited because when I got my first container shipment of these in, they started selling like crazy right away. And so within my first 30 days of selling my space saver bags, I already hit the $30,000 sales mark, which was huge for me. So my second product was much more successful than the bath pillows. And I was really feeling like I was going to be this amazing Amazon seller that had arrived. However, that's when some issues started to happen, some things that you need to be careful about. Just like my first product, there was some quality issues with these space saver bags. And anybody who's worked with plastics would know that you have to be really careful especially when you're dealing with these thin plastic bags. So like you might imagine, a lot of these bags actually developed holes in them. And so my review rating started going down. And if you're an Amazon seller, you know how important reviews are. And so over time, I was able to sell all my space saver bags, but the reviews ended up being only like an average of three and a half stars, which just wasn't cutting it compared to the competition. So what ended up happening was my first shipment of those space saver bags did really well, but the reviews started rolling in. So by the time my second shipment was coming in, they weren't selling as fast as they originally had. I broke even on the bath pillow. I made money on the space saver bags, but I was still making my way towards the private label success that I'm seeing today. So the first one was green silicone spatula sets. The second one was copper Moscow mule mugs. My third one, are you ready? Was ox horn mugs. You might be asking yourself, what are ox horn mugs? That's what they are. They were made famous by the TV series Game of Thrones. So if you've watched that series at all, you know how popular it became in America. It was a huge, actually it was worldwide folks were watching this. Well, in that TV series, they used these ox horn mugs to drink their ale. And like many TV shows or movies, they started a trend with these ox horn mugs. This was the second product that I imported from India. So this product went really well. I actually bundled this product with an official Game of Thrones deck of cards. So I was the only seller on Amazon that had a real ox horn mug bundled with an official Game of Thrones deck of cards. So again, it wasn't a home run product, but it was a double and definitely during the Christmas season, it hit triple for a few weeks because of how hot that TV series was. So that was the ox horn mugs from India. Another product that we sold on Amazon, Andy and I actually partnered on. This was a giant swan float. You may have seen things like these in Walmart or other big box stores. Well, we were one of the early sellers on Amazon to have these giant floats that you'll use in your pool or at a lake. And they were really cool products. We made some changes, we added handles, we added some cup holders, and we thought that we had this really good product that was gonna be hot in the summertime. Unfortunately, as a trend with some of these products that I've talked about here today, the quality was just not up to Amazon standards. So for about half of the people who ordered these swan floats from us, they'd be having an amazing day in the pool. But for the other half of the people, uh, their swan was popping and they might be sinking towards the bottom. And so anytime you have a product that's inflatable like this, you definitely need to have amazing high quality standards. This was a super important part of our private label journey and learning the quality control that's needed when you're importing products like this to Amazon. So those are the six private label products that we've actually sold on Amazon that helped turn us into million dollar sellers. Now those specific products obviously weren't super profitable, but they were extremely important in helping us get to the point where we're at today as Amazon sellers. So some of the key things that you can take away from these products that we actually sold is that what worked in 2015 isn't gonna work for you in 2020. You can't go after simple products like a spatula set or a bath pillow or a Moscow Mule mug. You really need to be able to differentiate your product, need to bring something in that isn't completely saturated on the Amazon marketplace already. It can't be a me too product as we often talk about. 
And really, one of the things you need to ask yourself whenever you're looking at a new product is, why would a customer order this from me? If you ask yourself those questions and if you use these products as inspiration for uh, what has worked in the past and what you need to do to be successful in 2020 and beyond, you'll see how you can turn into a seven-figure seller as well. Hey, if you like this video and you wanna know how to sell more on Amazon, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like if you found this helpful and leave a comment below. Let us know some of the experiences that you've had with Private Label. Maybe even drop a product if you're brave enough that you've done in the past, something like a bath pillow or a Moscow Mule mug. So if you like this video, make sure that you're also in the Amazing Freedom Facebook group. You can search for Amazing Freedom on Facebook or hit the link below. And as always, thanks for watching.